Welcome Matrons. In today's video I'm not doing a body paint still, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I promise I will eventually get some VODs from my Twitch channel and actually make some body paint videos. But for now, here's a speed paint. So I'm just gonna start by saying I didn't show all of the sketching or I showed most of the inking, but not technically all of it. It's only because it took a long time. This is way out of my normal art style, but I just had to do it and to kind of elaborate on what it is. It's a screenshot from Red Dead. So my friend Mamba, the one that is the male figure in this setting, I guess, um, he was the one who took the screenshot and after a while of seeing it, I decided I kind of wanted to draw it. I don't know. So here we are. I'm drawing it. I'm doing it. And I'm doing it digitally. And as I've mentioned before, I am not a professional digital artist. Actually, in reality, I've done it the least amount of all my art styles that I've done. I still find it fun, but as you can tell, I may not do the best. And I may not talk throughout like throughout all of this because honestly, I don't have that much to say. I just wanted to bring that up. Um, but I also did try and clip out the parts where I kind of like flashed the original screenshot onto the uh, the picture here because I was stealing like colors from it and whatnot. Um, I tried to delete them all so it wasn't annoying because it was kind of annoying to see it like, I don't know, keep flashing on and off. But uh, I may have missed a few spots because it was just like quick flashes. Um, anyways, so yeah. So the other thing I wanted to mention is um, the face of the girl. <laughs> it's a little funny, but to be fair, all Red Dead characters have kind of funny faces. Well, the females have funnier faces than the males. And mine is, is kind of weird. She has a weird face. So I tried to fix it a little bit, but then I kept messing up. She looked really unhappy being at that table at first. And then she looked really bored. And then, like, you'll just see me changing it a lot. You'll see me, like, actually take the eye from one side and move it to the other. And I was trying to fix the mouth. And she just, she was, she was a problem. Okay, she was a problem. But yeah, so you'll see me fix that a lot throughout the duration of this video. Uh, just know that it also pains me how weird her face looks. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. All right, and so then when it gets to the coloring portion, so as you can tell, I'm sure at some point, you'll see that I paid most attention to the, the characters that are right there up front. Um, I did a lot of texture on the whole thing, but I did a lot, a lot on the ones that are, are right there. And um, the skin tones also were hard to kind of get, because I was, like I said, I don't know if, you, if I got it all, but I was like flashing the original up there and stealing colors, but sometimes they just didn't translate quite well. So I would change them anyways, but I had like the basic, basic understanding of what color I wanted and where I needed it uh, to make it look like the screenshot. So um, the girl, again, I spent the most time on because she, well, she's the character that's up front and looking at the camera or looking towards the camera. She's not looking at the camera. She's just, the, you see her whole face. Whereas the guy, he is right there, but you know, you see like not that much of his face. It's mostly the back of his head. Um, but I did also spend a lot of time on him though uh, with the fur. The fur was a big thing whenever we get to that part, but yeah. And yeah, so like I said, you can tell that I then changed the girl's face for like the 10th time at this point. I did change it again before it gets to the end. I don't know if any of this is cut out though because it is kind of a long video. <clears throat> well, long for a digital speed paint, I should say. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> but I do want to talk about Twitch and everything. So this actually was on a day that was live streamed. Uh, 
and we were all having fun, just having a good time. So if you guys do want to follow me on Twitch, I will leave that down below. I will also leave Mambas because he is also a streamer and he's in this picture, so why not? But there is like a group of us that kind of get together and play games and we're always open to playing with other people as well. So if you have a game and you want to play it, feel free to reach out and we can see if we can figure something out. Um, scary games are a big thing. Um, I just played a scary game last night, which is probably why I'm kind of losing my voice because I screamed a little bit because um, I'm a baby. <laughs> but anyways, so like Twitch has been great. Twitch has been fantastic and I'm so happy to be there, but I don't want to forget to make YouTube videos, especially because a lot of you have been asking me that have come from Twitch, uh, why haven't you been posting on YouTube? The answer is nobody was watching my videos for a while now. With YouTube's new algorithm and everything, uh, it just, my videos weren't getting pushed to anybody and that's fine and everything. And I love making videos anyways, but it does make it hard to put in so much effort into something that nobody's seeing. So I would just do everything, you know, by myself until I started Twitch and then I started streaming it. So I will, I will do more body paints and I know that's a big thing people keep asking, but it's actually a lot of you seem to be enjoying these random speed paints as well. So hopefully you like this one. It's like I said, way different. And I know there's a lot of mistakes. Trust me, all of you artists out there, because I know I have a lot of you that do digital art and you guys are fantastic and definitely an inspiration and everything i know that it's not right okay i know that i didn't do all the technical steps for digital art and i know that i messed up in a lot of places and i know i do things wrong it's okay you can give me tips go ahead give me tips tell me what i need to do tell me how to make things better totally fine with that but just don't hate on it because in all honesty i'm very proud of this because it's way out of my normal anything so you know, just be nice with your criticism. That's all I'm saying, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, another thing, which if there's any parts where it looks like it's just sitting still, trust me, there I'm doing something because I get to zoom in. And so even though maybe it doesn't look like I'm changing anything, I, I probably am. Um, but as I'm watching this back while I'm talking, um, I see that sometimes it looks like it's just sitting completely still. It's not. Um, things are happening you just can't see it Oh, and the biggest thing about this, so one of the things that I did is I had so many layers because I didn't want to accidentally mess up any layers. So like the skin tone of the girl is different from the layer of the skin tone of the guy, which is different from the outfit for the girl and the outfit for the guy. And the light is all on one and the wallpaper, whenever it gets to that is all on one, you know, and, and the people in the background, like the pianist is her own and then the other... Um, the other band members are their own so it's really interesting <laughs> to have so many layers but it's nice because in traditional art you you have one layer you have the piece of paper or the canvas or whatever you're working on you don't have layers um, so <laughs> that's a nice thing I guess to have It was fun though to play with the different textures. Like I said, I added textures on everything. So there's like brush tools and things. If you're not a digital artist, if you are, you probably are like, wow, you're explaining this horribly. Yes, probably. Uh, but there is different textures, different patterns, different things you can put. You can also download other ones and make custom brushes and stuff for those textures. They're fun to play with because uh, they make it more interesting and more appealing to look at. Like it was nice to use the noise brush, which I had only recently learned about to make like the skin not look so smooth. Like it was nice to make it have texture. And then I was able to add like a wallpaper texture, um, which is a pattern that fit for me. It doesn't technically match the uh, the screenshot of the of the game, but it looks nice i enjoy it. it it was just fun to play with i keep saying um i apologize for that i'm sorry if there's a lot of like dead space with me not talking but i honestly don't really know what to say i was just gonna leave this as a non-talking speed paint but i have been told by many of you that you enjoy when i speak through these uh which i appreciate um but i don't always have something to say <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much that's 
pretty much it. I can say though, as I was doing the background as well, I tried to keep the characters and the paintings and stuff in the background less detailed. Um, I still added detail to them, but it was less detailed because I didn't want it to take away from the characters up front, the main focus of the of the piece, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah. So that's that's something. So um, some people may not like that, but that's just how I wanted to do it. And it's very flat, you know, like the paintings and stuff. Like I added depth, I guess, but just not not a lot. It's kind of flat, pushed back, you know, because I didn't want it to didn't want it to stick out that much. Just a personal preference, of course, you know. But anyways, yeah, that's really, that's really all I have to say. I, I tried to think of more things to say and I honestly just don't have anything. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, be sure to uh, come hang out on Twitch and stuff. And I, I sometimes do these digital art pieces. Uh, not often because again, I'm, I'm still new to it. Maybe I'll pick it up more. If more people are watching. I don't know. But uh, I do body paints every Saturday. I have been recently doing it twice a week. Uh, I did it on a Tuesday and I did it on a Wednesday. I don't know. But normally it's only once a week but you know that could change too uh but thank you everybody for hanging out and as they say be sure to hit that subscribe button you can also hit that bell notification if you want to be notified of the next time i upload because nobody knows when that's gonna be <laughs> and again if you want to hang out with me on twitch i'll link that down below and that's that that's it i hope you guys enjoyed please have a great day or night or evening whatever it is and i will see you next time bye